Hello everybody, my name is Lightstrike and I am here for my very first Titanfo video and this is a test if this gets out there, way to go. Alright, I'm going to take you guys through some character customization. First of all, what we're going to do pilots. We have all of these classes or loadouts that I've made previously, but I'm going to just make a random one on the capture the flag game mode. Alright, let's get started. So there are many different kinds of weapons, like the carbine, the shotgun, the smart pistol, personally not my favorite, the SMG, the sniper, this is my favorite one, GTA 4 rifle, hemlock BFR, car SMG, spitfire LMG, and the Kraber app sniper. Um, if you're getting started in sniping, I'd recommend the longbow and if um you're more into close combat go with the carbine maybe the shotgun i've had good luck with that one or the gta 4 rifle it doesn't necessarily do as much damage as a shotgun but you do it at a higher range so it's preferably an upgrade um these all have level i Ideally, kind of things. So you get these three at the start, but you'd unlock your custom loadouts at level five, I think, or around there. But you would usually just start out with to see how it's custom classes. You'd already have three loadouts, so that would be um kind of hard. If you were trying to completely start out with a GTA 4 rifle, you wouldn't be able to. It progressively goes up by level. Level cap is 50. And it's very fun. Alright, um, anti-titan weapons. There's the archer, heavy rocket, sidewinder, mag launcher, and charger rifle. I'm going to put a little bit more detail into these since it doesn't take as much time. The archer heavy rocket is pretty much a homing missile you like lock onto it with this little orange circle that goes on and after like a little time with a bunch of beeping that gets kind of annoying you eventually shoot the missile and it all works out fine all right next up is the sidewinder it shoots little small missiles rapidly um it doesn't do very well against um it doesn't do very well against pilots, but it's more of a Titan weapon, for instance. Alright. Mag launcher. It's like little grenades. It's a grenade launcher. And they're like sticky. This says the mag launcher fires magnetic grenades. Okay. Um it it's a really cool cursor for it, so it's very nice and everything. So it's very helpful but I wouldn't recommend it at high range far range last is a charge rifle you pretty much charge it up and see a giant laser beam fly and completely wreck up the Titan that's really all you need to say um it's not a lock-on next up is the sidearm it's pretty straightforward the auto pistol is an automatic pistol shoots fr quickly the Hammond is is well you can kind of see the stats on the side can you guys see me no not yet I'm gonna wait for you guys to catch up the recording device isn't catching up very well <laughs> are we back are we back I think we're back yes we're okay the sidearms we have the auto pistol which is an auto pistol as I explained this one's a lot more slowed down, but it deals good damage. It's it's your everyday ordinary pistol, and you have a high-powered revolver, which deals tons of damage. This is the one I prefer. Tactical ability. Cloak makes you invisible, including your um, sight, so it's kind of annoying. Stim makes you super fast. Radar pulls pretty much x-ray, except it's not a hack, which is nice. Next up, ordnance, frag grenade, it's a frag grenade, arc grenade, 
it's an arc grenade. It deals tons of damage to the Titan, not so much to the pilot, but it still like fizzes out their screen, so it's very helpful. Satchel charge, it's a sticky, pretty much. Arc mine is a landmine. That's like the arc grenade upgraded as the frag is a satchel upgraded. All right, next up is the kits. Enhanced parkour kit, explosives pack, power cell, running gun, quick reload, and stealth. Stealth makes your footsteps silent and makes your jump kit exhaust nearly invisible. Quick reload, you just reload faster. Running gun, you can fire like pistols and SMGs while sprinting. Power cell accelerates the recharging of your pilot's tactical ability, so that would have been the like x-ray kind of thing. Explosives increase ordnance ammo capacity as pilot. That means if you have a bomb, you are, you are able to hold more of those. An enhanced parkour kit allows you to wall run and a wall hang for increased periods of time. Tier 2 would be more for your titan and a little bit of your accessories your dome shield battery extends the duration of the shield after titan fall minion detector detects minions on your mini map the war fall transmitter increases your titan fall substantially which short range jump technology i've never used that one Dead Man's Trigger, pretty much when you die with a satchel on the ground, it instantly explodes. So pretty much if you're trying to lure somebody, they kill you, your satchel will blow up when you're dead. So pretty much kill from the grave. The Ice Pick. So you have to hack like specters and stuff, or hack a, hack a big turret. This will make it ha happen much, much faster than the standard specter knife. And the Guardian Chip. The Guardian Chip, not Ship. Guardian Chip is an upgraded targeting system that allows your Auto Titan to engage enemies with greater accuracy. Alright, now of course there's gender, which is nice. And then you can name it, so this will be Intro to Titan Fall. And you have to put that in caps, you can make it lowercase, see? Alright. Now, let's go a little bit faster with the Titan loadouts. Okay. So, there are three main chassis. The Atlas, which is medium with... There are three things. Acceleration, speed, and durability. This is the medium. This one's more fast. And this one's more defense. So, offense, defense, in between. I always go in between or offense. Primary weapon, you have the 40 mm cannon, small... Missile launcher, quad rocket, quad missile launcher, exo chain gun, um, chain gun for titans, plasma rail gun, try not to use this if it's your first time playing Titanfall and not so smart, um, it takes a long charge to shoot a giant plasma beam, I guess. Arc cannon is, shoots a bullet of lightning that propagates across multiple targets, so it's like, Senator... Palpatine or something that goes yeah to Darth Maul, totally wrecks his face, that kind of thing. Triple threat, it throws three small little grenades at once. Well, small for a Titan, as big as your chest as a pilot. And it blows up the entire area around it. It's really deadly, except if you're trying to go for a kill spree, that would be more of taking out pilots when they're hiding in the little bitty corner. All right. Tactical ability, Vortex Shield. It's a shield that if they shoot at you, you absorb their missiles and you shoot it back when you turn off the shield. Electric Smoke, if, it, if a pilot jumps on your back and they're trying to take out your like co AI core. Um, no, this does not include the Spectre Knife. You actually have to shoot the core. This would be able to get them off your back and shock everybody around the area and most likely kill them. And Particle Wall is a giant photon wall. It's pretty sick. Ordnance, rocket salvo, a bunch of rockets, a bunch of rockets that lock on, a bunch, a, one rocket that makes a bunch of rockets come out of it, a targeting rocket system, so you can shoot a few there and a few over there. <laughs> They're all rockets if you haven't noticed. 
Um, tier 1 would be nuclear ejection, so when you go out, it goes boom. Like, everywhere around, it just goes boom. Alright, regen booster. Um, there's not much there. Regenerate its body shield faster than normal. Fast auto loader. It makes you reload faster, like quick reload kit, pretty much. It's pretty much this version. Dash quick charger, you can dash fast, which is pretty much the speed. You just like hop to the right, hop to the left, hop forward, hop back backward. And if you're not quite sure what I'm saying here, do the tutorial that is provided. Don't think you're too cool for school, because nobody is. Tactical reactor, this kit makes your titan's tactical ability recharge faster. Like electric smoke or particle wall, that kind of thing. They Oh yeah, Vortex Shield, that too. Alright, that's all that. And tier 2 is Auto Eject. Um, so that means you don't have to spam E when your Titan's blowing up. It'll immediately send you, like, 100 yards in the air. It's, it's awesome. No, your chair does not come with you in that picture. Your chair does not come with you. Survivor, your Titan will lose health slower when doomed. So when you're doomed... Your, like, blue HP bar turns, like, yellow and black, like that warning sign kind of thing. And that's as your Titan slowly loses health on its own and blows up. So they'll make it survive longer. Core extender. There's a core, like, fast. It'll make you dash faster. Defense, it'll make you take more... You can take more hits. And then this main chassis is in between. You're able to, I think, do more damage, but... Okay, big punch. Your punch deals a lot of damage. That would be Sir Viki, Nen. Sir Viki for melee. Think V. Think V. C. Try it. All right. Hide and duck. He's never been into shooters. I'm the guy that's into shooters. Um, the core accelerator makes your Titan's core ability charge more quickly. That's pretty much already been there. We just did tier two. Titan insignia. This. This is fun. It's pretty much like little things that you can paint onto your Titan. It's really neat. And you are all... These are pretty much achievements. And when you beat the achievement... See that? The little orange things? You guys may not be able to see that. But let me read this one. It says, Wings, going between life and death. Complete requirement to get it. Travel three kilometers on zip lines. Yes, there are zip lines. It's incredibly hype. Um, I like to go with Eye of the Phoenix... The Dragon, or like ABC, Hammond, Aerospace, Orbital Re Recon, Interstellar. I like the color blue and purple. Don't forget black. Alright, except I'm pretty sure they're all just really cosmetic. For instance, let's just do this one. Pilot Helmet, you need to kill 50 enemies before they reach the evac ship during epilogue. See, and it goes right down there next to the Atlas. Alright. This is where it gets fun. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Oh, yes, you can. Can you? Can you? Well, pretty much English, 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 German, English, like, like English, English, like United Kingdom, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, and Russian. Um, these are the AI cores. So, they'll be able to say, Titan behind you, or you're outnumbered 2 to 1. I'm pretty sure this is the guy that says it, or maybe that guy, I don't know. When you preview him, tell me, tell me, tell me later. War and Peace, I know you'll watch this video. Um, and these are all for the different languages. You know there are people out there. Alright, so that is pretty much everything. These are the custom classes. Down here are the... Um, loadouts as my friends always say for loadout game modes so if you play let me show you actually if you play one of these game modes the three most popular ones as it seems is attrition which is kill all the enemies you can respawn each kill gives you some points get the most points to win frontier defense you're on a, the team imc the introduction should tell you all that. IMC Team Earth, Militia Team Terrorist. I know that sounds weird. They got the names kind of mixed up. But you're on IMC, and then you're trying to defeat a bunch of NPCs with three other players. Campaign, 
it's like a campaign, except it's multiplayer, which is kind of neat. Um, if you want clean, don't play campaign, it costs a lot. Okay? <laughs> Just saying that, and a bunch of these aren't so popular, there's also Catch the Flag. See, there are only four players worldwide doing it. Wow. Anyway. And all players worldwide right now at 8 for 8.04 p.m. is 535, but whatever. Back. That's about it. There are burn cards, which every time you die, you can put these into effect. Like, if I die, this is called the amped car. We went over the car later. I mean, earlier. Um, it's pretty much a rapid fire gun. It's the advanced carbine, which is your starter gun. Yes, yeah, it says on the top left. A burn card lasts until you die or the match ends. So when you die, you pull out the burn card, and then if you die again, it's over. Black market, you buy burn cards, tiny insidious, daily deals, burn cards, <laughs> um, tiny OS voices, and forge certifications, which you can skip achievements. And that brings me to my next topic, actually. Thank you, black market. I thought I'd never say that. There's something called gens. There are two different things. Gens here at regenerate section. And then ranked play. Don't worry, you guys are behind, but I'm staying on this tab. Ranked play is like the ranks gold, silver, bronze, platinum, and then at the very lead, diamond. There are ranks from 1 to 10. Okay. There's ranks from 1 to 10. And as you beat achievements, you get from rank to rank to rank and regenerate. In this instance, it says it down there. Alright. Personal stats. How many kills you got all that. Last game summary. How you did last round. Challenges. Achievements. Options for full screen and non-screen. Or if you want to do a video like I am now. I can play it and regenerate. Private match and training. Which is the tutorial. I may do that someday. Anyway. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Titanfall videos. And I have special thanks for Warm Peace for teaching me actually how to play a shooter. And my cousins for showing me shooters itself. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you guys all next time. Farewell.